Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I'm doing the monthly oracle card guidance for August 2024 and I'm so excited to be here with you um, and I'm using the Isis Oracle by Lana Fairchild and we have three stones today um, that you can choose from to decide either option one, two or three. Go ahead, make your selection and you can go directly to the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, the Rose Quartz, we're asking, what do we need to know for August 2024? Me. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, the Rose Quartz, we are looking at August 2024. And the cards that have come up for you here show me how it is that you will navigate through the months, uh, through the month of August. And I see that in the, in the, as we enter August, like today, basically from the 1st of August, till about the 6th or, um, or 7th of August, you have the opportunity to come in to contact with people who or with others who really resonate with you, who may not be very similar to you, may have very different opinions from you, but who are part of your tribe. It might it may be people that you've you have an affinity to without actually understanding why you 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 um, like them, but there is some kind of soul connection there. And this week, this this these few days ahead of you gives you a chance to be able to. Um, deepen the bond that you have with this these people or this person. Even though you may go into it not knowing whether this is the right thing or you might be looking forward to it but with a little bit of apprehension, it is a time where you will understand uh, the true meaning of yourself within the context as well as their contribution, as well as their uh, role in what uh, what you're doing and what what is taking place. It's also very much a time where you need to come together with others in order to understand and to compromise, uh, to understand where they're coming from, to be able to compromise on what you want, to be able to work together in a team, uh, to be able to accomplish something, to be able to do something. It will be a time where it, you are needed to engage with others, um, where you will find that you do have a bond with them, even though you may not always agree with them. There is a really a deepening taking place where you can go deeper in terms of connecting with with these people or that one person and really understanding them and really feeling seen and heard and be respected within your craft uh, within that context. As you go into the second week of August, you have a chance to be able to um, revisit something from the past, perhaps from 18 months ago or three years ago or sometime in the past somebody is going to come into your life or you're going to go into their lives and you're going to be able to uh, understand things from a different perspective it also gives you a chance to be able to heal something from the past that might have been left unsaid um, maybe be able to reassert a particular boundary be able to bring to light some hurt that may need to be resolved or to be let go of and to be able to balance karma. So I see that as you uh, go into the second week of August, it's very much about you being in your power and being able to understand and be clear about what is acceptable and what is not acceptable for you as well as for those around you. It's important to be able to speak your mind and to be able to say, well, I might be, I might have behaved in this way previously. And it might have been fine for everyone, but I, it was not fair to me. And I felt like I was taking, being taken advantage of. And now these are the new rules and these are the boundaries that I'm asserting. And so it's, I'm just giving you an example, but it's very much that kind of thing. It doesn't have to be aggressive or confrontational in any way. It is simply a reassertion of your own uh, well-being. 
within a particular context and uh, becoming clearer about that, not having any blurred lines regarding that so that it is clear for others as well and that the messages that you send out to them, whether they be subtle or unconscious uh, or on the nose, whatever it is, it is clear so that those around you can treat you with the respect that is deserved for you. I feel that also in the second week, you will be required to um, aspect, as, uh, sorry, you will be required to um, access a partic- uh, as different aspects of yourself, different parts of you uh, and different parts of your, your, your personality. You might be doing something that's quite adventurous, but then requiring you to be really still and calm and relaxed. It might be that you have quite a lot of energy, excitable energy that needs to be made uh, where you, calmer, where you have to shift gears very quickly. And that might be also quite, um, I wouldn't say tricky, it's not a challenge, but it would be something. It would be an effort that you would have to make. As you go into the third week of August, we have the Serpent of Fire. And you have once again an opportunity to be able to reconnect with somebody of your tribe. Um, whereas you may not see this person as part of your tribe. Um, there are certain um, underlying connections, almost like a net where you are connected to this person. And there is something for them to share with you and something for you to share with them. But especially for them, it's important for them. So whoever you will be meeting in the third week of August, particularly or not in, or not intentionally, I mean, with intention or without intention, there is a reason for them to be in your life and there's a reason for you to be in their life and you are actually um, necessary at this point in their life. It, it helps them to bring closure to something. It helps them to feel complete and full and it's pleasant for you as well, but I feel that you also be holding the space. It wouldn't be burdensome. It will be enjoyable for you as well, but it's very much about holding the space for your sister, in other words, uh, or somebody in your tribe. Um, it's also about being empowered and showing this person a degree of empowerment that they perhaps lack uh, or could learn from. And in turn, they are showing you something about their lives where they have quite a lot of um, ability or capacity and where they may have achieved something. And this is also inspiring for you. As you go into the fourth week of August, you really are in your power once again. And you really are able to wield what it is that you need to. It may be a bit chaotic it may be a bit um it may be that it may be that there are things happening around you but you're above it all and you're able to actually apologies i was interrupted um i just want to yeah i want to just go back to the week three briefly and just say that one of the other things that i feel here is that there's going to be in a, a moment where um, I feel like the two energies, it's like you're meeting two different people or it might be the same person, but they're going through different aspects of their life. But the first one is, as I said, about being able to share something with them where they will be able to benefit from it and uh, or just being there at that time of their life so that they can bring closure to something. But there will be another experience that you'll have either with the same person or somebody else uh, where you will be finding that you are able to Uh, go deeper into your own power and be able to work with some energy, uh, some kind of celestial energy or some kind of deeper energy from the earth where you are able to use that and and be able to work with it in a way that it can be transmuted. So look out for that in the third week of August. It will be quite an interesting time for you. If you're a healer, it will also be a fantastic time for you in terms of the work that you'll be doing for people and they will really be able to feel it. Um, now, as we have started already with the fourth week, but I just want to, yeah, I'm not going to go back on that. Well, I started already with the fourth week and I just want to reiterate that it will be a time where you are um, 
in charge of what it is that you're doing. You will be able to wield whatever it is that you need to do in your life. You may have quite a lot of planning. You may have quite a lot of things to do. It may be project based. It may be a, a trip. It may it has something to do with other people. Once again, uh, August seems to be a month where you'll you may be surrounded by people. It could also be a time in the second week of um, the August where you are just by yourself, where you are able to work with yourself. But this could also be with other people as well. In the fourth week of August, you were able to bring people together and be in charge of something. It's almost like you're the project leader or the, the person that is uh, in charge of something where you're of great benefit to others. Um, but you're very much inside of you. You're very much in charge of your own well-being and have your own ability to look after yourself, to take care of yourself. It's very much like you getting what you need out of that situation. So it's not like you're being dragged around and being forced to do things that are against your will, but you are really um, uh, doing things where others are involved and you be you are able to benefit from it quite a lot in yourself just because of the level of empowerment that you have as well as uh, how that mirrors to those around you. Um, and also being able to just manage yourself so that you can get what you need from that situation as opposed to giving all of yourself within a particular context and then feeling drained thereafter or frustrated uh, or anything like that. So it's very much you being in your power as you come to the end of August. Um, uh, apologies for the interruption that we had in this video and um, the fact that I lost my train of thought uh, briefly. Uh, but uh, it's I think I've delivered all the messages that I need to for the month of August in this video. And I wish you all a fabulous August. I wish you all a fun time as well as a great time of empowerment and community. OK, many, many blessings to you all. And for those of you who have chosen the second option for August 2024, we're asking what is your monthly Oracle card guidance? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, uh, we are looking at August 2024. And very interestingly, you have two cards here from the first option, um, which I think is talking really generally about the energy of the month, which I would sum up to say that it's really very much about connecting with people and about uh, connecting with people who are part of your tribe and part of your, your sisterhood, as the word uh, here says, or your brotherhood. It's about being able to connect with people who are on the same wavelength with you in terms of being able to create um, healing 
and an alchemical process which basically transmutes um, that which is of a lower vibration into a higher vibration. So it feels to me very much here that in at least in two, two points in in August or even maybe three, um, you will be in contact with people which will help higher vibration, which will help where you will be helping them higher their vibration for the good of yourselves as well as for those around you and the planet. So as we begin August of uh, 2024, you are um, you are charged up, you're ready to go, you are full of fire, you have control of your life, you are standing on top of your own mountain and you have seen the way you've come and the way that you are going to be going. It's, you are in a quite a strong position, I would say. You are able to see right from wrong. You'll be able to see, cut through things and see what is real and what isn't. And you have the power uh, and the empowerment and the wherewithal to be able to act upon that and to be able to be just, fair, kind, as well as strict and uh, stand up for what is, is important if need be. I would say that as you come into the first week of August, you also have the ability to empower people, empower, or just inspire people as well around you. And there's quite, it feels like there's quite a lot of activity or quite a lot of movement. It might be not outside of you, it might be just within you. There's quite a lot of movement uh, inside of you or outside of you, which is adding to further evolution. As you come into the second week of August, you have the Mother of Life card. And it's it looks here, it's like it's very much about you being able to take care of yourself, being able to look after you in order to be able to look after others. It's very much about listening to your body and hearing what you need, as well as taking care of others and listening quietly to what they need, not because they tell you what they need, but because you can see that from what they are nourishing themselves with, um, there is a certain um, uh, there's a certain outcome to that, and you can see that, and then you can help them um, eat differently, behave differently, uh, relax differently, do what they do differently, so that they can have a better outcome for their well-being. It's very much about having the power to be able to um, to be still for the moment and to be able to see and hear what is right and what is good for those around you as well as yourself. And this takes quite a lot of empowerment. And I feel here that this whole month is going to be one of uh, you being in touch with your power, being empowered and working towards even greater empowerment. As you come into the third week of August, there's an opportunity for you to be able to reach inside of yourself, to be able to uh, give of yourself to those around you. Uh, it might be just one person, or it might be uh, to more th than one person. It's as if you have something where you are able to give to others so that they can continue further in their lives to be able to move ahead in their lives. It could be also that you're working on something in a team and that you're doing something with with the others. It's about coming together to recognize what is true to you as well as to them and coming together to be able to create something together. As you're coming to the last week of August, we have the card, The Dark Mysteries, and I think that for some of you, it is important for you to go inside of yourself into a space where you understand what your feelings are about certain situations or how particular events in your life have shaped you so that you can actually know who you are and what you, where your impulses come from and what drives you. 
I think it's very much about being able to come into uh, contact with that aspect of yourself that you may not necessarily feel comfortable with, where some we may refer to as the shadow aspect and where you can actually understand yourself better. I think that having done so, you are able to release a lot of the pain, the maybe trauma that's been stored in you and to be able to, to move ahead um, from that into September with feeling of being free, unburdened and unshackled. I feel also that you are able to see more uh, in the, as you come to the last week of August, you're able to see the motivations of others. You're able to see through them. So if somebody is behaving in a particular way, but in fact their intentions and their motivations are completely different, you'll be able to see right through them. And I feel that this is not just for you. Uh, it's for quite a few people that we are all coming into a state where we are able to see through, be able to come to the truth of things. And that's very, very much also the, the energy that we came into around 2020, which was being blocked by certain world events at the time. Um, but in fact, it's not something that's filtered to, through regardless. And we are all able to see through um, if we choose to. So that's actually very interesting. And I think that this card here is basically giving us more of a chance to be able to access that um, and to be able to um, to see more about yourself, about others, about what it is and how it is that certain events in your life not have not just shaped you, but how you've reacted to it and how it's impacted your life ultimately. So as you come into the end of August, before you go into September, I think that is going to be a very introspective time where you are able to make great headway in terms of your own self-development. But the first three weeks of the month is very much about being in your power, being in your power there for others, being able to connect with others, being able to nurture others and really be able to give of yourself, um, but first to give to yourself in order to be able to give of yourself. All right. I hope that's been helpful. And um, do let me know how August pans out for you. Um, and also, I wish you a fabulous August. May you have a very blessed time ahead and a beautiful time until September. Blessings abound from Christmas Rising. And for those of you who have chosen the third option, we're asking what can we expect in the month of August 2024? What is our monthly Oracle card guidance for August 
And for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we have the Talisman of Potency. We have Stay True and Be in Your Power. We have Chariot of Ascension and Key of Life. And I think your reading is so different from the other two that we're here before. Uh, the first card as we go into, uh, well, as you go into August from today onward, it's about using your stones, your necklaces, your bracelets, your rings, your, um, you know, whatever pebbles or rocks or shells, uh, anything that you have that you keep close to you, it's time to cleanse them and recharge them. That's the message here. Um, just recharging your sacred um, objects of power. Sometimes you charge a particular uh, stone that you have or ring or something with a particular energy that's no longer relevant in your life. And it's time to update that and do a bit of house cleaning when it comes to the objects uh, of power that you have in your life or your talismans. So look into that. If this is not your vibe, <laughs> if you're not really somebody who carries around any of that stuff, who uses any of those stones, and you have this card come into your reading, I would say that it's time to be able to work with your intentions. Look at what thought patterns you have and what beliefs you have and what the trajectory of that is. Where is it likely to land you? How are you uh, likely, where are you likely to go if you do not change anything right now? And look at what could be changed or what could be slightly altered in your life in order to be able to exact a different outcome, one that is a more desired outcome. So that is something to think about and also to to wonder about as you go into the first week of August. I think also that there's an underlying feeling of um, more consciousness around certain objects, being able to see the value of certain things more than previously, being able to appreciate things differently, being able to appreciate not just things, but actions differently, actions that one may take, intentions of others, words that they may speak, um, the way in which they behave towards you. There's an ability to be able to see value in things that you may not have seen before. Something as simple as a spoon or a toilet paper or whatever it is that you have in your life that you may not have taken for granted previously. There is now an ability to be able to see the value in it and understand how rich we all are in a given moment in time because of all that we have and the ability that we have as a result of what we have, you know, the ability to see, the ability to hold something, the ability to move. And even if you don't have those things, you have other things that you can be grateful for. And so how is it that we are able to, to view that? And when we view it with appreciation and value, when we're able to assign value to it, then in a way we are recharging those objects um, in order for it to exude the power that it has and you and you just be able to surround yourself with power and with gratitude and with just a lot of energy okay when you are able to look at things not in a blase way or in a way that is just taking things for granted but really be able to see and feel everything at this given moment it's actually quite a rush that you get from it now, as you come into the second week of August, it, the card is stay true and be in your power. And I think what you have here is uh, you might have quite a lot of movement around you. You might have quite a lot of people around you who have quite strong opinions about something and want certain things and want you to fall in line with what it is that they like you to do. However, I think here that you just need to be true to who you are and be yourself. You need to be able to be yourself, not in a way that is antagonistic towards another, but in a way that is true, basically, to yourself. So, you know, don't apologize for who you are. Don't try to mold yourself to fit in to something. Be who you are in a given moment. There needs to be room for others to accept you as you are. You don't always have to blend in 
to society, even if that's what your parents told you to do as a child or your teachers informed you. Um, but this is something you can just be who you are and stand in your own power and be as bright as you are, exactly as you are, as long as you are not hurting another person. And if another person is hurt because of the way you are, without you being disrespectful towards them, then that is actually their problem. There is something that they need to work with to be able to overcome their shortcomings in their prejudices, within their prejudices, to be able to actually have make room for you, make space for you in their lives. So I think that as you come into the second week of August, that is the, the theme that's going to be tested. You're going to find that you have you have people who are trying to bend you over, trying to trying to make you fit into their programming or their uh, a slot that they've created for you. But in fact, you have your own pathway, you have your own light, you have your own journey, and there's nothing to apologize for. And you don't need to be so flexible that you lose yourself in the process. Okay, so I think that the second week of August is definitely going to give you room to test um, how true you can be to yourself. Then as you come into the third week of August, you have the Chariot of Ascension. And I feel here that there's an opportunity for you to be able to go into yourself and work on a level that you have that you're not able to normally perhaps that you have an ability to access certain power within yourself because there is because you're alone or because you're able to be in a particular place where you're able to tap into that or it could be that you are you're just surrounded by people who are supporting this aspect of yourself but what it is is that you are able to um, to ascend within yourself, to be able to get to a space of higher consciousness and higher vibration um, within yourself so that you, in fact, change. And you, in fact, it's like taking a lift, an elevator to the next level. And that's what you're doing. You are going to be literally bringing yourself higher in your vibration and the opportunity is going to present itself for you to do so and it's up to you to just be with it just allow yourself to let go and allow yourself to be brought to that new dimension it is work that when you're moving through a high dimension when you are evolving in this way energetically what it does is it brings you to a space where you are able to do something for yourself where it benefits all others around you. And now this is true of us in every day, that we are doing things that benefit all around us or not benefit all around us. Whatever we do has a, a, a consequence for not just us, but others as well. And that is an energy that is shared. We all share the space and the energy here. But when you get this card, when you get this kind of energy in your life, as is here, the chariot of ascension, you're being brought into a space where you are, it's almost like you're being purified and you're, 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 you're being foisted upon the ability to, or the capacity to do something that will benefit many people at once. So look out for that. That will be quite an interesting time. Um, it might just be on one day during that time and it will be quite fabulous. Um, I think it could be for some of you quite early on in the third week, like around the 21st or the 20th or the, I mean the 22nd. Yes. Look, look into that. It could also be around the 24th for some of you. Um, this will be absolutely beautiful. And please write to me and tell me what it's like. If you can, <laughs> that'll be great. I'd love to hear from you. You can uh, put a comment in the comment section. Then we have the key of life as we come into the fourth week of August and it's spinning the unk, the key of life. And I think that from this experience that you have had here, where you've had this kind of elevation, you know, look at where you've come from. You've you've charged your your thought patterns. You've stood by yourself. 
and chosen to be you. You've elevated yourself. You've, you've ascended. And then you have the key of life. You have the power, the freedom, the ability, the space, the tools. You have everything that you need to be able to move forth and create the perfect experience that you can have upon this planet and in any dimension within this world. So as you enter September, you're extraordinarily powerful and you can do so much. And I feel like for some of you, as you enter September, your life is about to change. You know, perhaps you're going to be living in a completely different place. Perhaps you're going to find love and you're going to move on in your life with somebody who truly sees you and respects you and loves you and is there for you. And it, there's going to be such a lot of changes coming up for you as you come into September. And I think this these cards here are all basically telling you that you are preparing for that. So what do you have coming up in September, October? How is your life going to be changing? Because for most of you, those changes are already underway. And they are, you've already met that person or you've seen that person or they've come into your orbit. You've already seen the new space that you're going to be, uh, be, be in. Perhaps not directly, but you've seen it online or you've felt it, you've understood it. So I think that you have the ability to create exactly what you want and it's going to be marvelous. It's going to be absolutely divine <laughs> and I think it's going to be fantastic for you so I'm wishing you a beautiful time uh, the Aventurine that I chose here for you today is a card of change and transformation and I mean sorry the stone I've chosen what am I saying um, and it is really giving you the oomph to be able to move yourself ahead so I think that there is going to be quite a lot if you aren't moving if there's nothing changing in your life and if you, you're you not actually open to meeting somebody, if you, you have somebody beautiful in your life already, September is going to be a month where you have so much power and you're going to need to learn to channel it so that you can actually work with this in a way that is going to be productive for you and not wasting this energy. Okay, I think also that um, you can use a bit of August to prepare for that in September or Perhaps you are underway already preparing for September, but it's something that it's, I don't know. I just feel like you're going to go to such greater heights that in September, regardless of, and in giving the example of moving or finding love, it's just two examples. There's so many ways in which you can flourish beyond your wildest imagination because of the setup that you have here. And, um, I'm wishing you that. I'm wishing you a beautiful time in August and a powerful time in September and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.